こんにちは。Welcome back to my channel, or if you are here for the first time, my name is Asami. I'm a pastry chef. Today, I'd like to show you how to make soft, fluffy, jiggly Japanese souffle pancakes. I've already uploaded the same short video recipe without narration. For this one, I'm going to explain baking tips and details so you can follow along as you make the recipe in your home. Let's get started. First of all, we are going to separate the eggs. When separating an egg into the whites and yolks, make sure no egg yolk gets into the egg whites. The egg yolk contains fat, which prevents making a beautiful meringue. Egg whites whip up the best when they are chilled, so I keep them in the fridge until I use them. Add 2 tablespoons of milk to 2 egg yolks, then mix to combine. Mix a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and 3 tablespoons of flour, stir to combine. Now sift into the egg mixture and stir again to combine. Be careful not to overmix. This is optional, but you can add a half teaspoon of vanilla extract for flavor. You can start preheating your pan over the lowest heat before whipping egg whites. The meringue will deteriorate as time goes by, so you need to cook them as soon as the batter is ready. If you can set the temperature, around 150 Celsius or 300 Fahrenheit is good. I like using an electric grill for these pancakes because the temperature is kept stable. Add one third of the sugar into the egg whites, then start whipping on the medium speed. Sugar does not only provide sweetness, but it also helps stabilize the egg whites. If you have cream of tartar, you can add just one pinch of that into the egg whites, or you can add a half teaspoon of lemon juice into the egg whites before whipping. The acid helps the meringue be more stable. Add the rest of the sugar in two parts. Then whip it until the meringue gets stiff peaks like this. You can see my meringue won't fall out when I turn the bowl upside down. Add one third of the meringue to the egg yolk mixture. You can mix the first portion of meringue well. It makes the egg yolk mixture lighter so that you can more easily fold the rest of the meringue into the mixture without breaking the air bubbles. Then add the rest of the meringue. Folding gently from bottom to top. Be careful not to overmix. The more you mix, the less fluffy your pancakes will be. Add a little vegetable oil into the pan and remove excess oil with paper. When there is too much oil in the pan, the pancake surface won't get an even golden color. I don't recommend using butter because butter will burn easier than vegetable oil. So, if you like butter, you can cook with vegetable oil, then enjoy your cooked pancakes with butter. I'm piping the batter with a piping bag to make my pancakes beautiful and tall, but you can also pour the batter with a ladle, it's easier. Put the lid on, then cook on low heat for about 3 to 5 minutes or until the bottom gets golden. I usually don't add some water for steam baking when I bake with my griddle, but if you can't bake your pancakes within 5 minutes, you can add just one tablespoon of water to your pan so your pancakes will be baked faster with steam. Meanwhile, I recommend preparing the toppings. These pancakes will shrink as they cool, so you should eat freshly baked ones. Prepare your favorite plates, knife and fork, and your camera as well if you would like. 4 minutes h a l f p a s t Gently flip the pancakes over. Be careful, they are super soft. If they are a little tilted, you can gently press and straighten them with your hands, like I do. Then put the lid on, bake for another 3 to 5 minutes. Three minutes have passed. Let's transfer the pancakes onto the plate. As you saw in the beginning of the video, 
These pancakes are very soft and fragile, so be careful not to drop it like me. Sprinkle a little powdered sugar like this if you have it. It makes your pancakes look more gorgeous. I like enjoying them with maple syrup, but you can enjoy them with your favorite toppings like whipped cream, fresh fruits, chocolate sauce, or your favorite sauce. What kind of toppings do you like to enjoy with pancakes? I'd like to know, so please share with me in the comments. To be honest, it's not easy to cook very tall fluffy pancakes, especially for beginners. I've had to practice many times, but I hope this video will help you create delicious pancakes as well as learn some useful baking tips. Even if your pancakes don't turn out very fluffy, they will still be tasty. So I hope you enjoy cooking with me. You can find this detailed recipe on my blog. I leave the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed today's video, it always means a lot when you take a second to give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and see you in that next video. Arigato and sayonara. Bye.